Well, an FBI official says the Bureau is now investigating threats against Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's parents. Bob and Janie Bergdahl haven't been seen in public since it was announced that their son was released after nearly five years in captivity in Afghanistan. Some people have claimed Bergdahl deserted and that troops were killed searching for him. But military officials say there is no evidence yet to back those claims. Right now, Bergdahl is still at a U.S. medical center in Germany. That's where we find Carl Penhall. He has an update for us. Carl, good morning to you. First and foremost, what do we know about his condition? Do we see any improvement? Well, Lynn here, medics at Landstuhl Medical Facility are really giving us not a great deal of information about how Bergdahl is doing. Uh, they do say in general terms that he's stable, that his condition continues to improve, and that he is engaging in conversation with the doctors, the physicians around him, taking an interest in the kind of care program that they have laid out for him. But citing patient confidentiality, the medics here at least aren't giving too many more details. But then if we turn to the New York Times, well, they're citing an unnamed Pentagon official uh, back in the US and there is a lot more detail there. Uh, on the physical front, uh, that source has told the New York Times that Bergdahl really has no life-threatening illness, that yes, he has a few skin problems, yes, he has one or two problems with his gums, but that kind of thing, normal after this kind of period in captivity and not having a very good diet for the last five years. Uh, that source is also saying that Bergdahl is beginning to move around. He's been outside, uh, he's walking up and down the corridor corridors and also in conversations with his medics he's insisting on continuing to be called private first class rather than the sergeant rank that he was promoted to during his time uh, in captivity also as well according to this unnamed source Bergdahl has begun to open up a little bit about his time in captivity and has told about some of the trauma he faced being locked in total darkness for weeks at a time in a metal cage for his attempts at trying to escape Lynn.